picture. Of Bailey. <laughs> oh, they show it being used on a hand, but what yeah. is that? Look, guys, I don't have a hood on my jacket, so I'm just gonna put my hood on from my pillow. What do you think about that, Ben? Bye. Okay, bye. See? Super fashionable. I'm going to Japan without you. <laughs> bye. I know what you're thinking. Did this man just ignore your pillow? Wait a minute. What did he say? I'm going to Japan without you. Oh, yeah, you heard that right. It's too early to run. I'm not about to run. You need to press a button. <laughs> Please welcome our first member of the group, Brian. He's my boyfriend. He isn't the best with elevators. And at the end of the day, he's just happy to be here. <laughs> you press a button. You push my buttons, lady. All right, so we are on the bus now and we made friends with two bus dwellers. This is PK. This is what I like to do. Fooled ya! This is actually our second member, PK. She's my best friend. She enjoys long rides on the bus. And as you can see, she can't. And this is Isaac, her boyfriend. I'm kidding. <laughs> Followed by PK is Isaac. He's PK's boyfriend. Just kidding, that's not all. <clears throat> You'll see a lot of them in the videos to come. Are you ready, Brian? No. Ready to ride the bus? Yeah. All right, we are here and we got our food. Chicken wings, chick, chick, chicken wings. It's 10.40. I have a weird rule where I can't eat food that isn't breakfast food before <laughs> noon. So like I can't have like chips. Like it's 11.30 and you're eating scrambled eggs? Yes. This is a breakfast sandwich. I couldn't get the mac and cheese because it's not noon. It's different if I'm just trying mac and cheese. I can eat your food if it's past noon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just can't eat it. <laughs> this is Kevin. I'm kidding. He's Kevin. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> Last but not least is Sadara. This is only the second time we met, but she's really cool. Thank God, otherwise this would be really awkward. Our plane was supposedly pretty fancy, so we were actually looking forward to the 10 hour flight ahead of us. All of the seats came with video games, but when Brian picked up the controller, he accidentally called one of the flight attendants, and then we were too scared to play games after that. I, I think I dinged it. That was my bad, I just okay. I pressed this by accident. <laughs> can't give it back, it's just... <laughs> After that extremely embarrassing moment that he'll probably never recover from, we were off to Japan. They brought us a free meal, which was fine. What's the deal with airplane food? Am I right? <laughs> Yeesh, tough crowd. But this was redeemed by some vanilla ice cream that you definitely can't get anywhere else. Then after a quick nap, we landed in Japan. I didn't get much footage after we landed, but to summarize, I got separated from all my friends. We were reunited, then we got separated from Kevin and Sadara. We didn't lose them. They're still here. And after all that, we finally found the train that brought us to our hotel. We just got to our hotel room. It feels so quiet. Also, that's Brian. <laughs> Sorry, Brian, your head got in the shot. And I did not film us getting to the station and everything because I have this giant bag with me. And to be totally honest with you, I'm not strong enough to be pushing it around and have a camera in my hand at the same time. Here's a quick obligatory tour. Here's Brian. <laughs> Look, Brian, they gave us pajamas. How cute. Look at oh, so cute. And then we have a TV. This is a pretty small room, but I think that's pretty typical. The one thing I do have to show, it's a bidet. We have a bidet in the room. This is gonna feel so stereotypical, like, oh my gosh, bidets are so weird. But they're so weird. We're gonna get lunch. <laughs> We're gonna get dinner. <laughs> okay, We're not gonna get lunch. We just got to PK Hello. and Isaac's room. Hello. Look at this view that they have. It's crazy. And then look, we're so high up. Oh my gosh, we're so high up. <laughs> to cap off an extremely long day of travel, we went scavenging for any food we could find and ended up coming across a ramen restaurant in the Tokyo station. And then we went to bed. Good morning, everyone. Just for the record, I did wear the PJs that they gave us and they make me look like a top chef. Here's my top chef outfit. I think it's, it's a neckline. Brian is still in bed. Hey, no, I'm not. <laughs> then what is this? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. We're gonna go get some breakfast at a little restaurant in the Tokyo station, which is right downstairs. And then we're gonna go to Shibuya and we're gonna go shopping. 
To start off our first day, we went to a coffee shop in the Tokyo station called Dotor. At first we thought this was a hole in the wall, but quickly learned that these are quite literally all over Japan. But it turned out to be really good, and I got this sandwich and coffee for only 5 US dollars. I know, I know. Come at you live from the coffee shop. We were gonna go to a different place and then we couldn't find it. I think we're gonna be getting lost a lot on this trip. I love that the napkins are wipes. Yeah, I know, it's nice. I think every napkin should be a wipe. Also, for the record, I would like to point out that that is not a booger. It's a septum piercing that I was hiding in my nose. We're gonna figure out the train too. We haven't figured mm -hmm. that out yet. That makes sense, right? It's 199 yen, and you can pay for it with your Apple Watch. The future. They have onigiri. Show the picture that we I don't know what I'm pointing at. Sorry, folks. These. <laughs> These are really good. Oh, what is that? Is that like, that looks like oat. Oh, tuna mayo. I was like, that looks like oatmeal cookie. If you're a fan of crosswalks, then you're gonna love this one because this is Shibuya Crossing, the largest crosswalk in the world. There's so many people everywhere. You got that right, Bailey, because during its busiest times, an estimated 1,000 to 2,500 people go across the intersection every two minutes. But once you cross the crosswalk, you've pretty much seen everything there is to see. We had to stop at a vending machine because they are so much cooler in Japan, not just because they advertise using Spy Family. <gasps> Which one? Or Attack on Titan. As we were exploring, we came across these trucks that were shouting ominous things at us. What if they're saying everyone must evacuate, you're going to die. But after some Google translating, we were relieved to find that the world was not actually going to end. With that out of the way, we decided to get some food. Isaac got takoyaki. <laughs> what flavor did you get? I got scallions and mayo. Real hot. Isaac, oh. <laughs> oh no. Don't look, don't look at me anymore. <laughs> Rate it on a scale from 1 to 10. I would say like a 7. Like I think, it could, I think it could be fried a little more. It's super hot. So I was like, it's so cool. I'm scared. It's pretty really fishy. Good. It's Tibbs! It's Tibbs! <laughs> this store is something I had been waiting for since the moment we bought our tickets to Japan. This is Kitty Land, and it's a toy store. But it's not just any toy store. It's a five-story toy store. I went to Japan with my aunt when I was 11 years old. Here's a picture of me at 11 for reference. Why did anyone trust me to go to a foreign country? Anyway, my mom gave me some money for the trip. I spent every single penny at Kitty Land. <laughs> Thankfully, this time I have my own adult money and self-restraint, but not much self-restraint. This is everything I dream about at night. We are getting lunch. Ryan, would you like to demonstrate? So cool. Very fancy. And we got a little soup. And some rice. It's so cute. We are... That's at the Gachapon like, store, like, is, and there's cool so stuff many stuff cute little things. It's like a mini like, streaming setup. That's so random. Gachapon is extremely popular in Japan. They are vending machine dispensed capsule toys, and each machine has a variety of different options, so you never know what you're gonna get. I think this is. Oh, and it's like cat treats, yeah. and you put a picture of your animal. And when I say you don't know what you're gonna get, I mean you really don't know what you're gonna get. What is that? You know what it's for. <laughs> What? That is a Shiba Inu oh with God. really long legs for some reason. This is cute. Look at the beard. They're singing. He's wearing a pizza so hat. Oh, oh, they oh, they sit on their phone for it. Yeah. I'm gonna manifest this guy. I was gonna say, I like that one too. <laughs> He's just got a cute head. Hard to say. And even though this is everything I could have ever asked for, this store was super overstimulating. <laughs> And hot. Shout out to my city. I tried one and I got the worst, worst one. It's a bunch of animals, and then I got one that was like their mats that they no. sit on. The <laughs> yeah. corn is the best one. The it's corn so is hard. It's just so random. I like the popped corn. Please yeah. try this one and get the corn. Please no, get the corn. The no, I want the corn. No, 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 I think I want it. I'm losing it. Wait, wait. No. Here, wait. Did you got it? I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> we got the car. <laughs> My favorite thing in Japan is all of the really bad translations of English words. This one says, 
real bear. I'm the master of organizing. We got vaguely recall, and then we got come up trumps. That one just says optimum. That one makes sense. Optimum? Does that make sense? Most conducive to a favorable outcome. The best. I think in the context of a shirt, it's a little weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, he's, he's throwing up or something. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Look at his face. Did you hear him? Wait, 700. 15,000 yen, it's like $700. No, that'd be like 7,000. These cats cost 7,000 dollars. Just got really hungry, you guys. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? We just got back to the room. It has been a very long day. It has been very fun, but it's been very long. We spent like two hours trying to find dinner, mostly because we have six people in our party, so it's really hard in Japan to find tables or restaurants that'll accommodate larger groups. But I thought that I would finish off this video with a haul of the things that I got today, including the capsules that I got from the Gachapon store. This is I want to show is these New Balance shoes that I got. I've been looking for these everywhere in the United States and I cannot find them anywhere. And I finally found them in Japan. They just don't have my size anywhere in the US. I finally found my size here. I imagine it's because sizes run smaller here, but it's also maybe because the shoes just like aren't as popular here. I'm trying to decide if I wanna wear them at all this trip though, because I don't know if they're gonna take time to break in. I've been needing a new pair of white sneakers for a while and I just thought that these were like a really fun way to switch it up because I usually just get Nike Air Force ones and as you can see these are the ones that I've had for like probably almost two years at this point. They are very beat up so I got these. I forgot about this until just now. <laughs> I went to Kittyland. I got some face masks because uh for those of you who don't know or if you haven't noticed so far in the footage that i've gotten it is still very normalized to wear masks in japan um most people wear them so i got these for the rest of the trip um they're just like white masks but they have little hello kitty indentations on them it's so cute the next thing i got is this little coin purse it's a spirited away coin purse coins are used a lot in japan as well the next thing i got is this kiki's delivery service headband and you use it to like hold your hair back while you wash your face i can demonstrate <laughs> these Kiki's Delivery Service socks with Gigi on them. And then I got these two postcards. This one's from Spirit Away, and this one is from My Neighbor Totoro. I haven't decided if I'm actually gonna use them as postcards or if I'm just going to put them up in my apartment as art. The last thing that I got from Kitty Land is this little cinema roll lanyard. Last, but definitely not least, my gachapon haul. I would like to start off by saying that I have no idea what I got. With the exception of a few, I did see what I got, but for most of them, I have no idea. Just to give you a little bit of insight, each of the machines are around like 400 yen, and that's equivalent to around like 350 us okay so this first one that i got this is so cute it's a little kitty oh, the possibilities were all these kitties and they're in little trees i got this little gray kitty and with a little mouse toy this one this one i'm excited about these are the possibilities they could be wearing tempura or holding tempura it's the one with the shrimp on its head look at how cute he is <laughs> as a kid i was obsessed with hamtaro hamtaro is like a little japanese hamster and there was like games and a tv show i was into the games i don't think i actually ever watched a tv show i think the tv show was on cartoon network well i broke it so Unfortunately, out of all the ham taro possibilities, though you could have gotten any of these, right? I haven't played ham taro in a long time, but I do remember that this guy, I remember him being super annoying. You know, you win some, you lose some. Okay, 
So the possibilities for these ones, it was just different color hamsters, all the same seed. I got the orange hamster, so this could be my redemption for Hantaro. Brian has joined the scene. He's very invested as well, aren't you, Brian? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one was one of the ones that I was the most excited about. Animals riding skateboards with different hats on. Look at him in his little hat. And then his skateboard. This is like, they're all on a little wire. I really wanted the one with the funny neck. I got this little guy. He's still super cute though. This one, they attach to the side of like a laptop. I ultimately really wanted this one because it looks like my cat Tibbs. And Tibbs is also, she has RBF for sure. So I think that this one works really well. And last but not least, we have, I think this one is squishy. And I think it might be a groundhog. It is squishy, I knew. It. Oh, I was not <laughs> expecting that. Well, that kind of takes the fun out of squeezing it. Could be like a capybara. I don't know. He's just kind of like a vaguely round very squeaky toy. I was kind of expecting this to be one of those stress relieving toys. I was not expecting it to have a squeaker. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us. I guess this was officially day one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next part.